Okay. Give me the Lux 1 pressure. Lux 2 pressure. Lux 2 pressure, 70 PSI. Okay, the nitrogen pressure. Nitrogen pressure, 50 PSI. Okay, give me the Lux 1 quantity. Lux 1 quantity, 7.7. Lux 2 quantity. Lux 2 quantity, 6.1. In the nitrogen quantity, Two quantity sixteen point two. Ambient temperature. Say that again, Joe. Please repeat. Say that again. Ambient temperature. Ambient temperature is minus nine. Uh, give me the uh, cabin temperature, please. Cabin temperature is plus 14. Comfort index. I'm comfortable. I'm warm. Food is on. Heat is on one. And I'm venting the ocean. Okay, are you venting? Good. That's good. Use it. What use what you got to do to stay comfortable. As boot heat, please. Boot heat is on two. Glove heat. Heat is on five. the Visor heat. And check your bailout bottles for me, please. I go to 16,000 in the cabin. 16,000 on the cabin. And just hold that. So I'm at 16,000 feet right now. Hold what you got. That's just what I want you to keep from now on. Can you confirm from the ground that I'm at 16,000 feet cabin pressure? Roger that. You're right on the button, Felix. Right on the button. Keep it right there. Okay, so uh, confirm it one more time. I keep that pressure at 16,000 feet all the way up. Roger, Roger, Roger. Yavol. If the bottle pressure is coming in a minute, stand by one. Standing by. They have already passed now the normal limit for skydiving without oxygen. And I'll wait. So two hours up to altitude, what they call float. As high as the balloon is going to go. All is good. And uh, stand by just a second. So this, as I say, is well above the normal limit for skydiving without oxygen. And in unpressurized planes, pilots and passengers have got to have oxygen masks at this altitude. Again, let's talk about Attention on the net. This is Mission Control. Felix and Australia's capsule is currently at an altitude of 
20,900 feet. So far, Mission Control shows all systems are green and go. Felix is ascending at an average rate of 1,000 feet per minute. And we calculate time on target to float altitude is approximately 120 minutes. This Mission Control out. That's Mike Jacobs, the Mission Coordinator. So on the one hand, we've got Felix Baumgartner, 43 years old, from the nation of Austria, helicopter pilot, parachutist. He already jumped from nearly 19 miles high back in July. So today, he's trying to go from even higher, and in so doing, break the record for the highest jump ever, a mark that has stood for 52 years. And the man who set that mark is Joe Kittinger, the fellow we've been seeing, who's now 84 years old. It was Kittinger who, back in the year 1962, jumped successfully from nearly a hun 1960, pardon me, not 1962, but 1960, jumped successfully from nearly 103,000 feet, or more than 19 miles up. So now, as we said, Kittinger is a vital part of today's effort to jump from even higher. So you heard him say about two hours. Uh, be sure and stay hydrated, Felix. Uh, stay hydrated. There's a shot from a camera attached to the capsule that's actually looking up toward that black sky up above. So you heard him say two hours. Doing great on that altitude, Felix. You're just, just keeping it right on there. That's good job. Good job up to what they call float. Thank you, Joe. We practiced a lot, so it was just what we did the whole time, but now it's paying off. Roger that, buddy. He's talking about all that change. perfect, whatever you're doing. Now it's paying off, says Felix Baumgartner. So as the balloon ascends, it'll drift to the east and then up around 35,000 to 45,000 feet, it'll encounter some strong winds. Not a threat to the capsule or the balloon. But those winds in the jet stream today, with autumn coming on, They're talking about those jet stream winds right there. Not sure if you can hear that. Uh, I'm, I'm told you, you can't hear that. The meteorologist is talking about, there was, the issue was raised about whether they should uh, drop some ballast from the balloon to allow it to ascend faster. And the weather meteorologist in charge here, Don Day, was saying that he didn't like the idea of dropping ballast, speeding up the ascent of the balloon because they got to go through that Well, you got that cabin altitude wired, Felix, absolutely wired. Are you using the uh, needle valve or the dump valve? What are you using to keep it there so good? cabin is of course pressurized and what they're saying there it's pressurized at the equivalent of 16,000 okay. feet of altitude as though you were standing on top of a 16,000 foot mountain so because he's breathing pure oxygen through a tank there's the meteorologist we were talking about Don Day this is mission control Felix's current altitude is uh, 25,300 feet so breathing the pure oxygen doesn't need to worry about being at 16,000 feet for an oxygen equivalent. It's the pressurization. He doesn't need the full pressurization that he would have uh, at the uh, surface like of the, the earth. Bit more oxygen they maintain it would, at uh, the equivalent of 16,000 uh, feet. Open uh, your uh, liters per minute of oxygen. We need to drive that up uh, just a little bit. 
So more about Earth the ascent of this balloon. How much up? Uh, at least 26. I'd like to have 26 on that, uh, on the uh, percentage of oxygen. Why that's to 26? Roger, 26%. Okay, I'm working on it. Perfect. You're watching Red Bull Stratus, Mission to the Edge of Space. Robert Hager coming to you live from Roswell, New Mexico, where Felix Baumgartner in his capsule is now at more than 26,000 feet high. Joe Kittinger on screen left, the present record holder for the highest jump ever from a balloon from 102,800 feet, 19 miles high. That was back in 1960. 52 years ago, and on the right, Felix Baumgartner, a 43-year-old Austrian who wants to break that record with Joe Kittinger's help. Baumgartner's targets today to jump from 120,000, which may even be 130,000, depends on where the balloon stops. It's a function of how the helium balances against the thin air outside as to where it stops, but they expect it to be in that range, 120,000 to 130,000. So that would be 23 or 24 miles up, if you believe it. So that's one record that Baumgartner is going for today. Next record is the fastest jump. He hopes to break the speed of sound. He'd become the first human being ever outside of an airplane to break the speed of sound in a free fall. First ever. So that'll come when he jumps, and they expect that he'll break the sound barrier in the first 30 seconds of that fall. The air is so thin up there, and there's been a lot of debate about what the effect would be on the human body of a human body breaking the speed of sound. Consensus of this team here is that... Yeah, you're bringing that oxygen uh, percentage up. That's good, Felix. You're doing good. 24% right now. That's good. Keep keep her going. To make it 28. Consensus here is that it'll be all right uh, on a human body well, as opposed to a plane, which builds up right? more uh, clashing of the uh, molecules right, when it breaks through the sound 26, 28. Either one would be good enough. But you're doing good. Okay. Check it out. about 30,000, Felix. Everything looks good. Everything's in the green. This is Mission Control with status update. 23, 24 yeah. minutes yeah. into flight, and Felix Turning has right passed through uh, flight level 300. I'm really too much brighter. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't understand you, Felix. Say again. We're turning on the visor heat. Nine. 